All right, that's a little teaser. Um, we are going to do the um, Larry Woods, uh, Mr. Hot Wheel video next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, so California time, 1 p.m. Larry Woods is going to come on and, uh, you know, he's going to bring a lot of props. Let me show you some of the things that he's going to bring. There's Larry Woods, you know, Mr. Hot Wheels, all of these cool things that he's been very involved in for 50 years at Hot Wheels. Um, you know, these are, uh, these are really wild. Um, the, um, the, you know, I, I'd have to say that uh, he was one of the biggest influencers for me as a boy. Uh, I was 10 years old when Hot Wheels came out, I believe 1969. Uh, and um, it, it seriously influenced um, my pathway. Maybe I would have got into cars because my dad was into cars, because my dad was, um, you know, I had a body shop at the time. But, you know, playing with those cars, I just remember so many times of just playing, playing and playing and playing with those cars. And, um, you know, just being so excited to get my... Uh, my latest and greatest next uh, Hot Wheel. So I have my phone. Um, we uh, will, you know, we'll be doing questions um, today on, uh, you know, what we're doing here. Uh, let's see if I've got to start it. Maybe I do have to start it. Okay, I do have to start it. I'm trying to find comments on here. Um, but I'll, I'll have my phone here and, you know, we'll, we'll definitely have this live. Uh, I have some friends that are sending me, um, you know, a lot of questions that they want to talk to Larry about. Uh, so, you know, feel free, text me 714-906-6619 if you can't be live, and then we'll go down the list on, uh, you know, what made Hot Wheels Hot Wheels, because he was the guy, Mr. Hot Wheels. So it's, uh, it's fun. Um, today, we're going to talk about... Uh, CSI, of course, and I want to get in depth with you on, you know, something that Darren and I have talked about so many times before, and it, it really is the, you know, a whole bunch of items that prove that CSI is for real. Um, most of you know, just by hearing my story, that, uh, you know, I had a body shop, and, uh, one of the biggest problems that I had in that body shop, one, getting the guys to work on time, that, that just, oh man, that drove me crazy. I had a lot of people working for me. We were just so blessed with tons and tons of work. Even at a young age, I got Gary Hall's uh, Pantera account and we opened two body shops actually for that account. And I had that account for 10 years. Uh, we had you know, most of the time we had 20 to 25 Panteras in the shop for a period of 10 years. Um, that would get me, you know, pretty focused into what I thought I wanted to do, which would be just do restoration. Um, maybe, uh, you know, if that wouldn't have happened, then I would have got into production, you know, like my dad had. And, um, but we had so, so much work. So you have to hire a lot of people. The demands are high on quality, and um, you know, getting people there on time was, uh, you know, was important. So um, after that, after having people there on time, was swore marks. It, you know, somebody's picking up a Pantera, and you, you know, it's got to be a little better than just a production car. Um, at least I thought that, and I, I really did, um, and I'm glad I did. And I know I was hard on my guys, I was hard on myself. Um, Any time a black car came in, and I relate this story to my buddies who have body shops now, anytime, I don't care, you know, it's got a little ding in the quarter panel on a Pantera. A black car comes in, I already feel my stomach just getting upset. That car's not gonna be delivered for a while, but I already know that that's gonna be a problem. I wish it wasn't a black car. That's, these were single stage paint jobs back then. 
Um, some lacquers, mostly acrylic enamel. We didn't move into urethanes until 83. And uh, Sickens paint was uh, the paint system that I chose. Uh, it was brand new to America and, you know, worked out really well. We would change around the 90s to Sickens or to Spiesecker. And um, Spiesecker went on to sponsor us. Um, they were the sponsor for the Pebble Beach car. And, um, you know, we were the poster child in, in their magazine in the, in the late 90s. So, um, but... What I, wanna, what I wanna talk about is how a problem, and I, I honestly believe this, that no matter how big the problem is, it is overcomable, but you gotta stay on it. You, you know, at times you, you can't do anything about it. You, I mean, it's like God's gotta intervene here and step in and say, he's got this. And that's, that's really what happened. Um, my wife worked at an eyeglass manufacturing company, and she was the manager, so she didn't do the work in the back. But she ran, you know, all the people that worked in there. And um, I went to go pick her up one day, and um, she said she was running a little late and uh, asked if I could hang out. We were going to go to dinner. And I said, yeah, of course. And... Uh, she said there was a guy in the back and he's doing something. And I said, can I go back there? And she said, yeah, just don't bug him. So I went back there and I watched him grind an optical lens. They were plastic, they're polycarbonate. I believe that's what they're made out of. And he ground the lens. He put it in some kind of machine that was vacuum enclosed. It had this white slurry inside there and put the lens in, closed the door, and minutes later, after grinding, this lens comes out absolutely, positively perfect. Now, it, it was like a light bulb went on in my head. Now, this is 1996. I am using 3M basically in my shop, and we're winning lots and lots of car shows with that. But it was, it was a lot of work. It was burning edges. It was a basic compound. It was... 5974 and 5996, that was our go-to program. That was what we used. Um, but by using a diminishing abrasive and you're you know, color sanding these cars completely flat, show quality flat, we started with uh, 500 grit. So all of our cars were, we put double paint jobs on every car. Um, by that time in the 90s, we were clear coating and uh, we would double clear coat. So it would be, you know, base coat clear coat or candy clear coat, sand it down and re-clear. We had to have six coats before we color sanded and rubbed. And then we went on to color sand and rub that car. And we start with 500 grit. And I'm not saying to do that. If you don't know how to do that, don't do that because you're gonna make a mess out of that car. Um, you know, start with 1000 grit or 1500 until you get used to dealing with 500 grit. Because 500 grit, you have to be an expert to not blow through the clear coat. I don't care how much clear you have on that surface. And the guys need to understand mill removal and lots and lots of different things. And we are gonna do classes on that. We are gonna do expert level classes on color sanding for show quality paint. That means I don't want no cellulite. I don't want no fat in that panel. I want it totally razor blade smooth. Um, and 500 grit kills the memory in the urethane and gives you a flat, flat surface. So then you can go to six and uh, eight and thousand and, you know, 1500 and, you know, all the different grit jumps. Back then in uh, 96, we only had 2000 grit sandpaper. Nobody, um, I know McGuire's was working on some finder sandpaper and it was really, really nice. I just was too cheap to spend that kind of money. Um, the 3M2000 worked good enough, um, and uh, you know we just had to be careful because we were using a compound and then um, the uh, foam pad polish, the 5996. So this frustration, and I am seriously frustrated at this point. We're we're doing production level on restoration, so every car that comes out of there are tens of thousands of dollars, and this is in the 90s. Um, we hadn't won Pebble Beach yet. 
We wouldn't win until 1999, um, but you know, we were a very, very high level restoration shop. So all the pressure was on me to run the shop and to get the work out on time and make money and pay the guys and uh, you know, do all that. I think by that time we had a 7,000 square foot shop, down draft spray booth, and you know, all the things that we needed to run a, a very high level uh, restoration shop in the, in the 90s. So uh, this, you know, God shows me an answer by what I witnessed at my wife's work. And it was amazing. It, it was just mind blowing that I saw this guy do this with a plastic lens and then buff it out. So I started. That was my journey. That was the beginning of my journey. That's 1996. I um, came up with something and uh, tried it and you know we progressed with that and it was doing good. Um, we were using it in the shop. Um, we had moved now to single product polishing 1997. Um, System One hadn't come out yet. We, I had not launched um, the brand System One yet. But um, you know, we we really were we. I really felt like we were onto something. I went to the biggest major player in the industry, and they're like, "Well, you need to prove it. You need to prove this, Tom." So they took me to one of the well the biggest OE manufacturer in Southern California, and we went in there. And uh, the first thing they said to us, and they know who I'm in there with. I mean, I'm in there with, you know, full guns. I mean, they, they know that this company that I'm in there with is, is a big, big company. And they tell me that they are going to sue body shops because the paint is falling off their cars. Now, I'm a body shop owner at that time. I'm like, oh my gosh. I got DRPs coming in and wanting to, me to you know, sell out to them. And, um, and now I've got these people telling me that I'm buffing cars wrong because of, um, the, you know, because of these products that I'm using. And it's funny how the OE manufacturer, and again, this is God, this is a giant mountain that God put before me. First was swirl marks. And, you know, I had no idea how that was going to get fixed. But he shows me a fix. So then you got to, okay, that's a mathematical problem. I, I need to start going down that pathway. And, uh, you know, we do, and we come out with a single product. But now I, I want to move forward with this gigantic manufacturer, and, uh, and now I get this other hurdle that we possibly are going to get sued, body shops, for delamming paint. Because if you remember, in the 80s especially, lots and lots of paint jobs were falling off of brand new cars. The clear was just peeling off. And I, they, they would go on to figure out what that problem was, and it wasn't buffing per se. But because they thought it was buffing, they said, you need to break the five tenths of a mill threshold when you buff a car. And I'm like, okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. What's five tenths? Five tenths of what? Five tenths of one mill of clear. Okay, that's a real little bit of clear. So they said, before we even get interested in what you're talking about, you need to break that. So we did a demonstration. And we mill gauged with all the devices that they had there and found out that this single product program was able to do this at three tenths of a mil. So now, now I know I'm really onto something. I was able to remove a color sanding grit scratch, we had 2,000 at the time, and then take that 2,000 grit scratch out with this one single product that we had come up with, with no name yet, and solve the issue for OEM. So, so of course, I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to sell this to the OE manufacturers. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. not that easy. <laughs> not that easy. But I want you to know we were the very first, definitely, you know, I'm by myself at this time, 
Um, you know, I'm married and got a family and I got a body shop. But even the OE manufacturer didn't think that this was possible. So we do it. We do it. Now, that's when, you know, call the lawyers, trademark system one, um, we're on to something, and we launch system one in 2001. System one becomes a big success. We're selling it all over the world. Um, PPG picks it up for um, Australia and New Zealand, and I'm selling drums and drums and drums of system one. And that really, you know, supports uh, that business. Still got the body shop. Um, we, we have system one in place. 99 comes along and, um, you know, we got the giant hurdle of Pebble Beach. Um, I'd been to Pebble Beach before. I'd gotten, I'd placed, I'd podium, but I didn't get first place. So, you know, you're trying and trying and trying and, uh, and we finally do. 1999, using one single product to cut and rub a Maserati 5000, we win first place, a class award. Um, it's not an overall award. Um, there was no post-war cars winning uh, at Pebble Beach at that time. That was all going to Duesenberg's and all the pre-war stuff. And I, I didn't work on any. I wasn't interested in pre-war stuff. I'm still not interested in pre-war stuff. That's not what I do. Um, my, all the years in business at that time was 30 years. Um, we did you know, just post-war exotic stuff. A lot of Panteras, but by that time we're moving into, you know, Ferraris and things like that. So, um, 2008 comes along, CS, or System 1 is a big success, but it has a cutting ability. It's, it's not really able to dig deep into that surface. And I meet a man named Bob Berg from Ellis Paint, maybe some of you know him, a great guy, unbelievable guy really good friend of mine. He was a friend of Tom's Auto Body. We did all of his cars. He had a car they did in the great race in the 80s and we restored it, 31 Cadillac. Um, and I know that's pre-war, but you know, that was his car. We did it for him. But he had a couple of Porsches, uh, 356 and uh, a 912, I believe. And we did those cars for him. But I did, you know, family cars, Mercedes and, you know, that kind of stuff. I knew he owned a big paint company a very old paint company, Ellis Paint, 135 year old company. He was the owner of that. Um, didn't know much else about him. Uh, and um, I spoke to Bob and I'm like, Bob, I really wanna go to the next level here. I got, um, I've got somebody, you know, can you look at the contract? So he checked it out and he says, Tom, I wanna do it. Don't, you know, I got enough money to do this. Don't worry about it. I wanna do this. I'm like, what, really? Okay, so now System 1 becomes CSI. And uh, we changed the name just because we didn't want to be known as that product that had a great shine, but it didn't cut well. Now the whole concept behind CSI and what would become CSI Ceramic would be the cutting ability to 100% eliminate the cutting ability and maintain that three-tenths of a mil barrier when cutting and polishing on 2000 grit. So Bob had a huge paint lab, um, had chemist involved there. I, you know, I'm a body shop guy. I had sold Tom's Auto Body at 2008 and now full time into doing this. Um, up there, Ellis Paint, you know, doing, uh, you know, doing all the research and development with a large group of people, um, people that are a lot smarter than me. Um, and Bob put up all the resources to make that happen. So, uh, Bob goes, uh, you know, we went to lunch every day. I probably gained 30 pounds. Um, yeah, it was, it, I couldn't believe how much, uh, you know, working in a corporate environment, how much weight you gain compared to running a body shop. Uh, and that, that was one of the biggest things, because you eat lunch every single day at some kind of nice restaurant in L.A. So every day we'd go to lunch and he'd ask, how's the formula coming? And, uh, well, I got this and I got that. And I go, come on in the lab. So I go in the lab and I buff it out and I go, see? And he goes, yeah, but 
you're pressing really hard. Hmm. And see, this is Bob calling me out and saying, and again, this is a problem. And every one of these problems, thank God I, you know, had people around me, Bob Berg, and that this problem that looked like a gigantic hill, but no bigger than the problem of single product polishing that nobody said would work. And then God shows me the answer. And then, you know, the mill barrier that God shows me the answer. And now I got this problem. I need to not press down. And he goes, this weekend, I'm going to bring you something. So Bob goes to his, he's, he loved building things. He, he was unbelievable. And at this time, Bob's 82 years old. At 80 years old, he's riding bicycles all over the United States. So this man was in great shape. But at 82, he had stopped riding bikes, and now he is fully focused on solving this problem to get Tom out of the buffing problem. And that's what I want to show you. At CSI, when I say it's the best product on the market, not only do I say it, but lots of painters say it too. Lots and lots of painters. And I'll say this to 3M, to all the big players. Our program is better than anything that's out there. Of course, now they have single product. Great, great. Then why are you selling all the other stuff? If single product is the answer, and I believe it is, because of the mill barrier that System 1 proved, absolutely positively proved from 5 tenths to 3 tenths at OE, and they know it, um, now... Why sell compound? Because you've heard me say that CSI Ceramic will take out a 320 grit scratch. It'll buff out, just bear down, put both shoulders into it. Again, you're bearing down, and this is what Bob wanted me to stop, just to prove my point. But when you're buffing 320, you've got to put you know, all of my 200 plus pounds into uh, that buffer and onto that surface. And of course, I'm doing it on something that doesn't matter. So I'm going to switch cameras here, and I'm going to go to uh, you know, what we're doing. Um, I want to check my phone and make sure that I don't, uh, let's see, we've got, OK, we've got a lot of people watching. I don't see any questions. Uh, OK. Yep, I don't see any answers. Uh, hi, Don Johnson. Don Johnson's got a cool airbrush magazine. Click on his name and uh, check him out. He's a great guy. Uh, but good to see you there, Don. Um, but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to go to the other camera, and you're going to see what absolutely proves the point of CSI. Now this was uh, an invention of Bob Berg that he would bring into me um, in one weekend. He would make this tool. So I want to show you what this looks like. Now, this is such a cool tool. You can weight this. You can use different weights on this. 10 pound, 5 pound, whatever you want. You can put different panels in here. These are special panels for this tool. And then you'll see the counter is counting the strokes. Bob invented this to get me out of pushing and proving my point. He says, Tom, you need to be in a white shirt. You need to step back. And this thing needs to be real. So this was him taking me out and proving completely. This is a really, really cool tool. So you can put different pads on. You can measure scratch patterns. We had digital uh, gloss measurement tools. Uh, we have LED lights that you know you can put on the surface here to um, you know to check what you're doing. So, just wanted to I just wanted to share that with you to just you know so you know that as much smoke as you might think I'm blowing, this, this really does answer 
the color sanding and polishing problem. And the cool thing is that every manufacturer that's watching these videos knows that they too have a single product program. Now when you look at the liabilities that I had as a body shop owner, and I, I dealt with probably the richest people in Southern California when I was doing this. So the stress level was unbelievable. These people like their cars, I would say more than their family. Because if you weren't on time, if you didn't do your job, and you're charging thousands, thousands, I mean, the paint job that we won Pebble Beach was over, over 100,000. That is in the late, or late 90s. That was a lot of money. Um, and then you've got the restoration process, you know, which is lots and lots of money. So when you're dealing with that kind of liability and you know you're removing more paint with a diminishing abrasive system, there's some liability there. There is some absolute liability that falls on the person who knows that. What I'm sharing with you is a way that you, you know, this product right here, this CSI ceramic, that's our answer. I know, you know, other people have their answer, and I'm glad they do. Um, but consider, consider removing less material. Now, you might say, well, it's going to take longer. Okay, I'm a product formulator. Um, let's seriously extreme that situation. How can I take compound and make it cut even more? Well, I could put a shovel full of sand in there and it's really going to cut, right? It's also going to rip off the paint from that surface. But doesn't compound already do that? Because I can personally tell you that I burned lots and lots and lots of cars. As I was learning how to do this, you know, I didn't have a patient father that, uh, you know, had his arm around me and saying, well, you know, you need to pick up that 10-pound Sioux buffer that doesn't have an adjustable trigger. And if you happen to burn through that lacquer paint that you color sanded with 600 grit, it's okay. No, 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 no. I didn't have that kind of dad. No. He's like, you want to learn this trade? There's the buffer. There's 600 grit. There's a car that was painted with lacquer and don't burn it. And of course, you know, at 12, 13 years old, I'm burning everything that I'm touching. <laughs> and if they would have had better products, it wouldn't have been my fault. If somebody would have looked at mill removal, you know, it wouldn't have been my fault. But that answer wouldn't have been given to them. It would be given to me. And it would be an opportunity for me to step into something that I knew absolutely nothing about in the 90s. And now we're a manufacturer, we make this product, we sell it all over the world, and I'm glad to be in this trade. This is, this is so much fun. So I just wanted to show you that CSI is not smoke and mirrors. All of our products are built the exact same way, like the tire dressing that we did last week. You know, every single one of these minimalistic products, five for the automotive line, we say that is all you need. If you have a body shop and you are struggling, one with fish eyes or greasy windows or, um, you know, swirl marks and um, production times, we have been used in the biggest MSOs in Southern California, the biggest, million dollar a month shops. And they proved on paper that our system is faster, that it was a 20 to 30% savings on time and material if you used this product, CSI Ceramic. And we did all that when I was there at Ellis Paint. Um, Bob Berg, sorry to say, would die in an airplane crash and then uh, and then I would be back on my own. So uh, here I am back on my own, grateful for you know, getting to know everybody that's been involved in System One and CSI and you know, helped along the way to uh, you know, progress uh, 
what was a serious, serious problem. So that's our live for today. Um, I'm going to check and see if there's any questions. Uh, but I do want to remind you of my buddy, Larry Woods, who's going to be here. You know, he's going to bring a lot of props. He's going to show us, uh, you know, what it took to do all this stuff. Uh, he's, a, he's a great, great guy, uh, a dear friend of Chuck Hans's at uh, Coast Corvette. Let's get back to Larry's picture there. Um, he's just, just a super guy. And when I asked him if he would be willing to do this, he's like, absolutely. So um, please join in next uh, Tuesday at um, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time next Tuesday. And uh, we'll go through, um, you know, Hot Wheels, hot, all kinds of Hot Wheels. And he's going to bring stuff, too. So um, but let's see if there's any, um, any questions here. Uh, this is live. Uh, thanks, Tom. Great information. Damn. Um, I don't see any. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing that I don't see any questions. Um, but... I'm not seeing any questions here, unless I'm not reading them right. But um, yeah, let's see. Bring them on camera. Let's see. Yes, Don, are you talking about um, you know the um, the items from Larry Wood? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> it says bring them on camera. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Um, so I hope, uh, you know, I hope I gave you a little bit more information about CSI Ceramic and that it's not just smoke and mirrors. It's provable. It is absolutely the best product for polishing and removing swirl marks on the market today. Uh, Water-based. You can use it in direct sun. Um, it has um, a very, very special emulsion. Um, I, you know, want to touch on that just a little bit. Uh, compound is nasty. It stinks. I mean, I don't care whose compound it was when I was buffing. I didn't smell it. But the moment I would walk into our house, my wife would be like, oh man, what's that smell? Now, I did not know what she was talking about. But she would come down to the shop and she goes, that's the smell I smell. I go, compound? That's the smell that you smell when I walk into the house? And she said, yes. So that needed to get fixed. And when I look at emulsions, uh, especially when I started making these products, it, you know, look at the best emulsion. You know, don't look at what everybody else is doing. I didn't like what anybody else had anyway. So um, uh, the, uh, the key here would be to find a product that I, I knew was an emulsion, a water-based emulsion. And my wife had all kinds of skincare products. And you can control the scent in that, or you can have zero scent in that. And that was the pathway that we went down to take skincare emulsions, start with that, and then build a product that has absolutely no smell on it. Now, one of the benefits, again, this is a God thing, there's the hurdle. You know, I want to get rid of the stink god. How do, you, how do I do that? And then he shows me this impossible situation like skincare. care. Okay, I don't know anybody who does that stuff. And I, and I would go to Cal Poly at nighttime, Cal Poly in Pomona, and they would show me how to do that. So the answer is there, but you have to step into the answer in order to find the solution. And, um, you know, we would uh, find an emulsive base and start with, this is System 1 days, and then that base would become the base for every single product. The nice part about it is when you're using bases like, you know, skincare emulsions, um, and of course, don't use our product on skin because we put a lot of other things in that for polishing paint that would be bad for your skin, like abrasive products, um, you know, as far as, you know, and the chemicals that are in there. No, 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 don't, no, that's not what they're made for. They're, they're safe, 
They're safe for you to touch, but we don't, you know, they're not FDA approved for skin care. But the side benefit to jumping over this hurdle would be the ability to work in direct sun. I didn't know that, but when we went to the special ingredients that we have to use for skincare products, these products work well in the sun. Maybe it's because, you know, they use skincare products for, you know, um, suntan lotion and things like that. And it's, it's exactly the same base structure that these things come from. Only we then add other products. So, again, we are different. And all the other companies who have a single product program know that they copied System 1, which was the original formula that started everything. That started everything. And, um, you know, if I could uh, line up all the people who said that'll never fly, and then I see all these other companies, I'm glad. Actually, I'm really, really glad. Because as a body shop owner... I'm, I know I wouldn't be as frustrated, and I hear it all the time, on how body shops really like the way this product works, and it, it takes away some stress in their life. Maybe their marriages will be better because they're buffing cars and their stomach's not as upset. I don't know. But I do know that God did help on this whole process, and he gets all the glory from me on just helping me jump through all these monstrosities, these humongous hurdles, mountains. And, you know, that's what he says. You know, he says he will help us move those mountains. And I've seen him. I've seen him help me do that. So um, I wanted to just share that with you. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, I will check my phone here before we get off. But, uh, you know, feel free to call me, 714 906 6619 or you can you know go on our websites or you know talk to the jobbers and you know get my email address my email address is online and any of the websites that we have csishine.com and um, the amazon store csicars.com and then all the jobbers all the jobbers should know how to get a hold of me if you're dealing with uh you know the many, many jobbers all over the country that sell CSI now, and I'm grateful they do. Um, they're still selling everything else, but they at least sell our product too. So if they don't have our product, demand that that's what you want, um, or go online and get it from us. Um, you know, we want to we wanna put the pressure on the jobbers who don't have our product in there to have our product in there. Give the customer an opportunity to try what I say, is the best product for color sanding and polishing. And I believe I have the evidence, the proof. Mill gauge measured, this device over here, you know, the machine that Bob Berg invented, um, you know, this all goes to prove that CSI is not smoke and mirror. So let me check this and see if we have any questions. Uh, um, nope. Not seeing any questions on here. So uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, joining in. It looks like it's been about uh, 40 minutes. Um, and then uh, come on uh, on, on uh, next uh, Tuesday. I'll probably do a video on, my, um, on the Tom Horvath feed uh, just to tell everybody that Larry Woods is coming on board and uh, see if I can get some people from over there, too. But uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to uh, get Larry on there. I know it gives me a warm and fuzzy to think about the Hot Wheels that I had as a little boy and, um, you know, this fun business. Uh, that kind of drove me crazy at times, but I'm glad I did it. I really am glad I did it, and now I get to be in this side of the business and travel all over the place and get to see all of you at SEMA and other places. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, see you Tuesday.